Well, hello neighbors, John your Whiskey Neighbor here. Welcome to my porch and to what's a pretty decent day here in January for the Edmonton area. Uh, it is January and I don't know if you're like me, but for me, January can be a challenging month. Uh, so what I'm going to do is shoot a few series of value whiskeys, uh, whiskeys that I've got on clearance, on sale, on closeout, uh, because I think January is a great time to explore the benefits of value whiskey. So today we're going to look at a scotch. This is Glendower. It's their eight-year-old blended malt. Hey, thanks for staying with me through the break. As I said, uh, you know, the next few videos at least, I'm going to be looking at uh, some uh, less expensive whiskey. My channel is not about expensive whiskey. I generally drink between that kind of 50 and 80 range. I'm always going for uh, what's the best whiskey that I can afford. Uh, but in January, at least for me, it might need to be even a little more value. So uh, this is uh, um, a blended malt. Uh, so that means it has no grain in it, which is nice. It's 100% malted barley. I mean, uh, I like some blended uh, with grain whiskeys in it. I just meant to say uh, I like the information they've given us here. It's only malt, blended malt. Um, it's uh, eight-year-old, so it carries an age stamp. And this one's released at 43%. Now, the group that puts this out, John um, McLaren and Sons, I don't know enough about that um, uh, group. To, to say I've had a lot of their, their um, material, but this at least is, uh, it says very clearly on it that it's from Highland Distilleries. I tried to find out what Highland Distilleries those are, and I couldn't find that. The best I could do was a couple of sites said there were three different Highland Distilleries blended uh, into this blend. Um, other than that, I really can't tell you much about the, uh, the whiskey, uh, but this is, as I said, released at 43%. And um, I want early on, I actually thought this might be unchill filtered and uh, natural color, but I can't find it anywhere in the bottle. And of course, then my assumption is it's both. So let's talk about the liquid. The nose on this is, uh, you know, I am outside. I always find uh, whiskey smells a bit uh, iron watery outside. Uh, maybe it's because there's a lot of snow around. I'm not sure what. I don't know how Salig does it. It's always shooting outside and gets good tasting notes. But the nose for me is gentle. I have to go back to my memory. I would say you're going to get, uh, you know, light fruits, whatever that is for you. So really a light, like a yellow apple, a crisp pear, a uh, little fruit cocktail. So pretty light, fairly sweet. Not Maybe cocktails too too much. It's not that sweet, but just gentle. There's a little bit of like a cereal note in there. But I'm really not getting really any oak or any spice, but it's not bad on the nose. So it's pretty light and gentle. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Palette is also, you know, fairly light. Thankfully holds up at 43, but it's, you know, pretty coating. And, uh, and stays really close to that malt sugar um, sweetness, maybe some vanilla there. Yeah, some definite, some vanilla. Um, if I take another taste. There is a little, just a little bit of spice, but it's more like spice from youthfulness. And that's where, you know, critically this whiskey breaks down. It doesn't have a lot of layers. The, the finish is um, really not very strong slightly tannic or bitter. Uh, really wish it had a little more oak, uh, a little more depth, a little more cask life to it, to be honest. Um, I find this is very spirit driven. So uh, multi cereal. Uh, yeah, some of the cask is coming through as vanillas, but doesn't get deep into caramels or toffees. Um, so it stays pretty light, crisp, clean on the nose. Uh, mouth, very multi. Um, sweet, like a, um, a little bit sugar sweet or um, yeah, vanilla and the finish is pleasant, but passing. So, you know, this, um, critically this bottle Glendower 
probably um, probably three stars, maybe three and a half, but I will say I like it. And, and for January, as I set this review series up, it's a perfect January dram in that there's decent flavor. I don't think anything that'll put you off, except for it's a bit young, a little bit crisp, a little bit bitey. Um, but good flavor, bottled at 43, and as I said, like I got it for 30 bucks. Um, I know it's on the shelf just north here in small town for 36. Uh, the big guys here, the wine and beyond, I think they have it on for something stupid. Um, but definitely uh, in that $30, under 40 range, right? So um, counts as a value product, excuse me. And uh, I don't know what else to say. It's, um, I think it's a great value. I think it's a, it's a perfect bottle to knock back in January. Uh, you know, while you're letting your bank account recover from the holidays and, uh, and maybe looking forward to something more momentous later on. Glendower, blended malt, eight-year-old. Um, nothing, uh, nothing fancy, but I certainly can recommend it. <laughs> you guys take care.